We have uh, we have one more song for you before uh, we're going to take a brief intermission. I'm saying that aloud uh, mainly because uh, we've rejiggered how the, the night is working a little bit than what we expected. So I'm I'm saying that to our merchandise volunteers so that they know that there's actually going to be an intermission tonight. Interval. Uh, speaking of which, uh, uh, one of our merchandise volunteers, Karen, is around here somewhere, has basically been driving our shirts all over Great Britain, uh, and we cannot thank him enough. Wherever you are, Karen, please, everyone, please give him a round of applause. He's right here. So both we and Jonathan will have some merchandise for sale uh, down in one floor in the lobby. Uh, we have CDs. Uh, Paul and Stork, we have our uh, USB drive, uh, which contains pretty much everything we've ever recorded. It has, also includes some of our YouTube videos. There is a readme.txt file on it. So, yeah, right? Every seventh copy or so has uh, Zork on it. <laughs> Because we hear the kids love the video games. Oh, exactly. You've got to keep up with the kids these days. We also have a number of t-shirts. This one is new this year. We did not have this last year. We did some market research, which indicated that a successful band t-shirt should have three elements. It should have the band's name, it should have the logo, and it should have the website. Therefore, we now have the new official Paul and Storm t-shirt with the band name, <laughs> with the logo, and the back contains our URL. <laughs> Paul and Storm Blank is the name of my blank cover band t-shirt, which thanks to our friends at Think Geek comes with a washable erasable marker, so you too can make the joke far too many times. Uh, as we mentioned, we have one more song for you, but don't worry because it's about an hour and 15 minutes long. <laughs> That means that it is time for a song about pirates! Tis a, tis a hearty crew. They be knowing their pirate business. <laughs> well, it does indeed involve some audience participation. Most of you are pretty well on board for the three or four of you who are still being sticks in the mud. When we cue you, and only when we cue you, tis an important point. That's right. <laughs> I remember you people from the last few concerts, you're an unruly bunch. <laughs> when we cue you, please sing forth with a full-throated piratical R. Practice it now! R! It's us two times. R! It's us pine times. R! Plane cover band, that's just for us. <laughs> Practice again! Arr! You didn't need it, I'm just on a power trip. Arr! Arr! It's sunny, I think I would be too confused, and I would 
probably get that on the train. Yeah, <laughs> we've room. obviously gotten off in the wrong city. Um, but thank you all for coming out on a Sunday night uh, to what we like to think of as Nerd Church. Uh, a big thank you to the entire staff here at uh, Manchester Academy. Please give them a big hand. And a thank you, as always, to our, our very good friend Jonathan Colton for agreeing to open for us this evening. <laughs> He's opening second. Uh, and then we'll close for him in about a year or so when we all come back. That's sort of a weird time shift thing. Uh, so again, after this song, there will be a brief intermission, a brief intermission, and then Jonathan Colton's gonna be right there! Yeah. And with that, one last practice! Ah. This song is called The Captain's Wife's Lament. The ship sailed into harbor after 15 months at sea. The captain hit the tavern with his crew of
glad the shirt came away. <laughs> oh, no, I, I closed down the comment section. Good luck. <laughs> Everybody, deep cleansing breath. Oh. Let it out. Oh. <laughs> I think we're just going to let you have that. Yeah, I know. I walked into that. My bad. I'm watching you. She's our Rockwell cover band. For the children of the 80s. Who live in the United States. For the children of the 80s is my Duran Duran cover band. Her name is Riar. Reflexar. Girls on the film. Seven in the ring and Tigar. Let's just name some random Duran Duran shit for five minutes. Sure. Yes. Absolutely. All right, simmer down, nerds. Simmer down, nerds is my they might be giants coming. Up. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I believe we left off oh so long ago at Hopeful R. <laughs> so half of you were doing a Hopeful R and half of you were like saying, yes, that's what it was, Paul R. <laughs> Pirates not be much on red arm. <laughs> I will take this show and turn it right back around and go home. If you can't behave. Which is our pretenders here. <laughs> okay, it's misfire. <laughs> you meant to proclaim ours. <laughs> I would sail 500 miles <laughs> and I would sail 500 miles <laughs> When I'm pillaging, I'm you know who I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be the man who's pillaging with me. Be ye 
ready? 